and welcome back here to the channel. As you can see, we have a new box from NRG Innovations. We have one of the new lightweight sim wheels that we're gonna be taking a look at today and seeing how actually light they are. So without further ado, let's see which wheel I've chosen. As you can see, also beautiful packaging, as always from NRG Innovations. And the wheel we've chosen is this right here and that's this Nero Chrome scale styled lightweight sim racing wheel. Definitely a very sweet looking wheel. And of course we have the horn button and everything in the box. So we're gonna take a look at actually how light is this wheel compared to my plethora of NRG Innovation wheels. Oh, we're dropping some Formula Drift cars. We have my Alcaterra Suede, my Alcaterra Suede and Deep Dish, and of course the OG Mint Green and Nero Chrome. We're gonna put a new Evil Rabbit on there. It's kind of coming off. So we're gonna take the weight of basically all these wheels and we're gonna be checking it compared to the new lightweight sim wheel. So we're gonna grab a scale over here. The rim is definitely very a beautiful and awesome looking. We're gonna open it up, take a look at it, and see exactly how light this actually is. So let's open this up, get the scale out here, and uh, we'll continue from there. All right, so we did open up the wheel, and as you can see, the Nero Chrome and scaling, and that energy logo that is implemented into there. We have a nice, you know, leather finish on the wheel, as well as a very beautiful grip on the back for finger grips. And of course, thumb grips for when you're doing racing styles. It's extremely light off the grab. But how light is it actually compared to other wheels? So we set this one aside over there. And we're going to start with my Alcaterra and Suede wheel that they sent me. We're going to put that on there. And if you can't, slide it over there. It's two pounds and two ounce it or two pounds 2.0 ounces on that Alcaterra suede wheel with no dish so pretty hefty wheel this is one of the ones and ribs they did send me as well as the other Alcaterra suede NRG big thank you to them so before we continue we should guys check out their new NRG innovations website with all the information on all the new sim gear and everything it is live to so make sure you guys check out the new NRG website www.getnrg.com getnrg.com of course so next rim on the block is the deep dish alcaterra and suede wheel so let's take a look at that one set that one back there so we can actually see the weight two pounds 1.6 ounces so a little bit lighter than the first wheel that we measured so and it probably has to do with this is solid thick spokes no cutouts and this one has of course you know the cutouts in the spokes so the og mint green and nero chrome wheel the original wheel that i had on the channel this one comes in at two pounds 0.8 ounces so how light is the new wheel compared to those the new lightweight sim wheel that i have from them comes in at a whopping one pound 3.8 ounces so a good pound lighter than the predecessor wheels that i was using so it's definitely a huge weight loss for this wheel now, how does this compare to, say, the Factory G920 wheel? Well, we have one of those, so we're going to take a look at that. We're going to put that one over there. So this is the Fanatec wheel that came on my Fanatec setup. And this wheel is pretty hefty, actually. This wheel is uh, 1 pound, 14 ounces. So it's a pretty hefty wheel. Now, Factory G920 wheel. We still haven't had a factory G920 wheel because this is what you'd be taking off a G920 to put this on. So just for reference sake, 1.3 one pound three ounces, 3.8 ounces. Factory G920 wheel, 
with the center hub, one pound, 0.9 ounces. So, 350 millimeter lightweight NRG Innovations wheel is actually just as light as the factory G920 wheel. So will this put wear and tear on your G920? I don't think so at all because it weighs about the same. So with that being said, let's get this on the rig, take it for a rip, and uh, actually feel how this feels because it's definitely a lot lighter. I definitely love how the rim looks and feels. So we're gonna put it on the rig and we're gonna go for a full send on it. So let's hop over to the sim rig, get this mounted on the wheel, and uh, go full send sideways. All right, so we are on the simulator. We do have the wheel all hooked up onto our Fanatec base. We just hooked it on with the screws without having, we didn't put any bezeling or anything on it right now. This is just gonna be a first impression. The first impression of the wheel, it's solid. It, it doesn't move, it doesn't flex. There was, I was, you know, pleasantly surprised with how it feels. I love the, you know, the leather feel and it's kind of a, a good grippy feel. So we do have it on here. We are at a track that you guys all know on the channel, Aussie Driftland, and in car you all know, and that is my 350Z. So we're gonna take this for the first rip with how everything I have it set now. I'm not sure if we're gonna have to adjust our force feedback or turn it down some, but we're definitely gonna see. So let's let's go full send. We're gonna drop that a little bit. All right, there we go. So we're gonna go full send here at Aussie. Oh, I can already tell that there is, you can see the wheel kind of has a little twitch to it because of how high the force feedback is. So I think we're going to have to dial the feedback back because, you know, a couple pound difference makes a huge difference in how the wheel rotates and reacts. So, oh yeah. The wheel response is actually much quicker and as you can see it's kind of got a little twitch to it and I think that's because it's rotating so so much easier you know it would definitely be very more pronounced on say a G920 or things of that nature but this wheel is definitely very very light so I think I have a sticker back here yep yep it was a quality control sticker I was feeling on the back of the wheel. So we're gonna dial our feedback actually back on our Fanatec wheel. We're gonna we are actually we're at 75%. So we're gonna dial it back to 60 and see if that works. Because if we can dial our force feedback back a little bit, it's gonna make everything feel much nicer. Oh yeah. It definitely rotates much quicker and much easier. Definitely super excited to have this wheel on my rig now. You know, Energy Innovations coming out with the lightweight sim wheels, making it less stress on your rig and feel all the torque from your wheel. You can feel every little, like, I guess, bump and crack on this car right now because without the, the base having to throw such a heavy wheel around, you know, it's going to be able to utilize its force feedback better. And, you know, NRG did a great job with, you know, making the wheel as light as possible, but still very sturdy. And I'm, you know, I like the grip feel of it. The leather sliding through my hands is definitely a, a cool thing because I'm so used to the suede wheels. So I've wanted a leather style wheel. So this is kind of, you know, great to have leather style wheel, you know, in my arsenal of wheels because we all know you can never have too many wheels and I think that was the correct force feedback change that I needed to make and I love the black with the scaled style Nero chrome in the middle so like I said make sure you guys go to getenergy.com to check out all their sim racing stuff for their Thrustmaster bases as well as their G920 you know hub bases and everything like that that they have so you can put a full size rim on your rig as well and with the lightweight wheels you know definitely going to be a great addition to the sim rig i like i said i'm giving the two of these other rims to 
my teammates. One of them is rocking a Thrustmaster and the other one is rocking a G920. So I'll be getting their impressions and stuff on the wheel as well once they start running them. So I may pull out the G920 and throw this on my G920 as well. But So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All that you found in the description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video, this little tidbit of the new sim wheel that is on the rig here for the channel. Gonna be doing a lot more with this wheel and things of that nature. I, I'm I'm getting the flow of it. So make sure you follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.